Good evening. Good evening, sir. Anyone died lately? Unfortunately, no, sir. But I'm fully counting on you, sir. What do you do with a cart? I wait for the tavern guests. Not everyone does survive a night like this. Because of my deceased uncle. Do you know my Uncle Sid? He lived here somewhere. Of course. My condolences, sir. Your uncle was a very pleasant corpse. Do you know where my uncle lived? In a small cottage in the forest. Unfortunately, not the best residential area. Something else. Can I help you in any way? You could look at the cemetery if things are all right. If the things are all right? Yes, please look for the right foot. It's some kind of lucky charm. You have a foot as a lucky charm? Indeed. The foot must have fallen out of my pocket. Here's the key to the crypt. I rattle my hocks. Okay, stupid joke. I've got to go. See you at least once more, sir. Private event. I guess they have to come back later. Treasury transports baggins. We also transport your valuables for cheap. The circus of identical twins will be back in town soon. The accident during the last show wasn't our fault, really. Here are tourist maps for the taking. I'm grabbing one so I can move around the island. Oh, a nice apple. I better take it with me. Hello, cat. Hello, man. You can speak. Unfortunately, you too. I have never met a talking cat. Maybe no cat just wanted to talk to you. Are you sure? I could not blame the other cats. Don't you want to climb the tree? Are you stupid? In this place, there is no fire department. Why are you so irritated? I'm hungry. My first itching. Is that enough answer? I'll go again. Well, finally. That's the way to the town center. Locked. He's occupied. Are you done? Get lost, I have constipation. Can I do something to help you finish faster? What did you think of? I could whistle a tone. Oh, shit, not. I could maybe get you something. Just a moment, not a bad idea. You could get me a laxative from the herbalist in the treehouse. And I get it there just like that? Of course not. Here, take this recipe. You have something just like that? You would be surprised what I take to the toilet. I better go somewhere else. Do not shit in the bushes. So, you are the heir of old Sid, right? Correct. Nelson is my name. My sincere condolences. May I introduce myself? I am the Baron of this dreamy little island. That is very friendly that you welcome me here extra. So are we, blue-blooded. However, I still have a concern. I would like to free you from this dump. For a small fee, of course. A hut like this is not of great value. And why do we want to have this dump then? I am heartbroken that your uncle has left us. That's why I want to show you my application and free you from this burden of a small art. Well, I just arrived. I'll think about it. Good, good. You will find me in my castle. But do not wait too long. The land prices can sink to the bottomless here very fast. Always keep away from trouble, citizen. Locked. The note reads... To the highest of this shed, the key can be picked up from me. Signed, the witch. P.S. I live in the tree house to the north, in case you really should not have any sense of direction. Oh great, what did Sid tell about me before he died? And whom?
You seem familiar to me, citizen. Have not I seen you anywhere? Uh, certainly not. I just have a common face. What are you doing here? Of course. I guard the bridge. It does not run away. Very funny, citizen. May I visit the castle? Only if you have an invitation from the Baron for the upcoming union meeting. What happens in such a meeting? Mostly drinking until the morning hours. Many already start at the local tavern and cannot make it this far. That's why there are often new members, I don't know. And the members who cannot make it this far? The Undertaker takes care of that. Something else. Bye for now. Always keep away from trouble, citizen. Aren't you Nelson, the nephew of Sid? Yes, how do you know that? The spirits tell me that I can summon with my magical abilities. For real? Of course not, kid. Sid told me a lot about you. Also, I knew you were going to claim your inheritance. Sid told me how broke you always are. That's not true. Oh no? Well, maybe uh, now and then. Here is the key to his heart. You know that Sid inherited his magic cauldron, right? Nope. Is the cauldron worth something? That's what I mean, kid. Nice you have it here. Thanks. I try to make it even more comfortable with more skulls. Will you also cook magic potions with the cauldron? Not really. I just do stews. For magic recipes, you also need a magic cauldron. So you live from soup cooking? Not quite. I also invent things, Stippling. Do you invent something that has to do with cooking? I'm about to invent an automatic cauldron. I call that Thermohex. Something else. I have a recipe for laxative here. Another one with constipation. All right. Here is the laxative. Please do not take it all at once. I'll tell. I'll go better then. Do not let anyone stop you. I received the laxative. Very good, give it to me. Ah, thank you. Under the potion works, I need to read something. Could you get my pre-ordered favorite book from the library? But surely, which book should that be? It was the 100 most beautiful wine mills. Just show my library card, which you can get out from the commode in the mill. Here's the key to the wine mill. Unlocked. I don't need the key anymore. Old socks disgusting. Here's the said library card. The sign reads, head of the dump ass. The two must have had a very sincere relationship. Now I should finally get into the hut. I better remove the note. I don't need the key anymore. Oh holy touch tool, the cabin is much worse inside than outside. Sid can really have lived in this shack, especially with his indefinable stench and all the furniture of Elkea, the Albion system furniture store. The Vlau has already seen better days. There is nothing important here. The favorite band of Sid, I think they call themselves the Rocking Little Red Riding Hoods. Well, that's a thing. So, sit at a more or less well-hidden basement. Maybe there is still something of value for me here. Many empty boxes and bottles. But here is a flint with a matching whist. I could use that for firing. I don't know what to cook, if I only had a recipe book. Sid must have worked on some recipes here. Sid doesn't need his recipe book anymore. 
Maybe I should talk to the witch about the cauldron again. She can certainly help me. I have found a cauldron and an empty recipe book in the basement of the hut. Very good. Then you will surely want to follow in the footsteps of your uncle, right? Mm, I have not thought about that yet. Cooking magic recipes can bring many benefits. And what should that be? Wealth and women. All right, what do I have to do? Not so hasty, Stippling. This will not work without proper recipe. And where can I get these from? I cannot tell you. But maybe you can find a recipe to summon the spirit of Sid. Then you can ask your uncle yourself. Madness, then I'm better on the search for recipes. I'll go better then. Do not let anyone stop you. It says, don't look so stupid. I'd rather be lying on the beach now. Oh, a cute snail. I'll take it with me. Slightly slippery in the pocket. Here's Uncle Sid, poor guy, in the truest sense. I need a key. Unlocked. I don't need the key anymore. Somehow the tomb looks much smaller from the outside. It stinks disgusting. That could be useful. This hairbrush could prove useful. Funny that I always expect something like that. As if someone had placed it here just for me. Do you live here? Mostly already, except when I'm not at home. What do I do with the animals? Butchering and eating, what else? For real? Of course not, I'm a vegetarian. But I'm a fan of animals and give all animals a home. So, if you find a lost animal, bring it to me. What else are you doing up here on the mountain hut? Role-playing. Role-playing games? I think I don't want to know any details now. No, N not that kind of role-play. I mean the ones you fight with dragons and so on. Do you want to play around? Why not? I created this level myself. Really? It looks like a 2D. Of course he looks like that. That's the point. And how exactly does one play a role-playing game here? The task is to defeat the opponents in this level. Other necessary weapons are hidden here. What opponents do I have to defeat? Nothing particularly difficult, just a werewolf and a dragon. What? Once you arrived at the house, you've made it. Great. Oh, a scroll with a spell. Maybe I shouldn't be so exaggeratedly surprised. A werewolf? Really? So this is supposed to be a werewolf? About the werewolf in the sheep's clothing? Very funny. You should take the game a little bit more seriously. I'll do my best. A scroll with a spell, Stinking Cloud. Now I apply a scroll, Stinking Cloud, to the sheep, uh, uh, the werewolf. Very good. The werewolf is driven away by it. With a stinking cloud? Does it smell like silver? Hey, I'm still working on it, alright? Alright, and now what? Now you can go to the next challenge. I'm so thrilled. No sarcasm, please. Here lies a worn underpants full of sweat stains. It offers plus 3 protection against attacks from below. I definitely do not put on the underpants. It stings badly. But that gives special protection. I'd rather die. 
What should I do with a bow without arrows? I prefer not to ask further, otherwise he will be offended. A great dragon, of course. What a dangerous dragon. What did I say about the cousin? Alright. But I have no arrow. You have to imagine the deadly arrow. In the end, it's a life role playing game. How am I supposed to kill a dragon with an arrow, imaginary or not? It's just a magical dragon slayer. I give up. So you have defeated the dragon and now you can enter the house to save the maiden. A plywood house, as flat as the rest of this level. That was a lot of work. Anyway, I've reached the house. What now? Now you have reached the level. Finally, you have defeated all enemies. Thank you for helping me testing my role-playing game. You're welcome, I guess at least. As a thank you, you will receive this wonderful piece of wood. Oh wow, I always wish something like that. No sarcasm, please. Oh, a snail! I can make you something out of it. How oh, come? What do you want to do with it? Just a moment. Here, please. If you crush the snail, you get a very good glue. What? You crush the snail? So to speak. Oh man, I hope there's no shitstorm that will turn animals into jelly in this game. A map to the island that could prove useful. That should be the reading corner here. I had pre-ordered the book The Hundred Most Beautiful White Notes. Show me your library card. Here, yeah, please. On the picture, you look kinda older. The painter had a bad day. Well, here's your book. Thank you. If the book has only a dog ear, I have to cut off a part of your body. <laughs> Do you also have cooking books? This is a sophisticated library, you hillbilly. Do you have any now? At the very back. I'm gonna leave now. Meet again. Computer science? What is this? A book entitled Turning Coffee into Coat, a programmer's diary by Jochen Testiger. That should be the reading corner here. All parts of Fifty Shades of Beige must be a version for seniors. I'm wondering if they haven't been sorted in yet or sorted out. Ooh, just disgusting. These are love novels. A book about hangover soups. I may need that. A book about necromancy. That might be interesting. A book about alphabet soups, I should try that. Planet of the Three-Headed Monkeys by Kybrush Freakwood. Hmm, no. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Here's the uh, right foot. Oh, my lucky charm. Many thanks. As a thank you, I give you some beautiful eyes. I have lots of them. I've got to go. See you at least once more, sir. Gosh. They had more than just a malt beer. Hmm, that must have fallen out of the drunken guy's back. Well, that's an invitation to the Baron's castle. Somehow I remember the game with the little arrows.
What are you waiting for here? I am waiting for a serious opponent that I can beat. What kind of game do you play? I'm playing a trading card game looking for a legendary card for my deck. Really? Where can I find it? The blacksmith has one, but he doesn't want to sell it to me. How come? Let's say he has often lost against me. Could you get this card for me? He doesn't trust me. If you give me the money for it? Here, that should be enough. That's a lot of money. I work part-time as a game developer. How does a card I should get look like? I give you an old playing card that I have twice. Some divine beam must be on it as far as I know. Well then, good luck with the game. Thank you. Oh, a nice beer mat with a tavern logo on it. The poking ball looks very realistic. Oh great, the developer added achievements to this game. Still sober, traveler! I can help! Do you have a raspberry rum? Unfortunately, only a gut squawk. What's wrong with the guests? They might have one or two drinks too much. You don't want the drunks to go home? No way! They will have to empty two more barrels of beer first. But they're complete unconscious. I'm working on it. How can I help the drinkers? I want sort of a hangover soup, so that people can drink again. I've gotta go. Too bad. You are still sober. Damn, they're still alive. A character who wants to take over the world domination. The plush figure is extremely popular with customers. A shrunken head that can twist its eyes. It can show you the way through dark caves. A pretty edged pickaxe. That's what the manufacturer wanted, for whatever reason. A pretty big fortune cookie. Either it brings more luck by the size now. But of course it brings luck and extreme wealth. And why are you selling it for a few gold coins? Um, I'm just a humble person. Several dragon eggs. If you hurry, you can safely hatch the little dragons. The cup of a carpenter. But maybe it's too much gold for that. The mug is absolutely real and unique. I have a few in stock if you need the whole set. A red cap. The green one is already sold out. A helmet that protects against dragon attacks. He is still unused. Are you sure? There's something red sticking in the helmet. Um, on that, I wanted to repaint it. What do you have on offer? Many beautiful souvenirs that all your friends will envy you for. And I thought at a blacksmith I could buy deadly weapons. Somehow humans have become civilized and do not kill themselves that often. That's really tragic. Yes, unfortunately. Damn civilization. Do you also have trading cards on offer? The card player sent you, right? Definitely not. Nice try. But I don't sell the nutcase a trading card. I would like to buy a souvenir. With pleasure. What can it be? I'm interested in the big fortune cookie. I'll give you one from my supply, so I don't have to refill the shelf. The dragon eggs look good. I'll give you one from my supply, so I don't have to refill the shelf. Maybe later. No problem. Meet again. Bye for now. You seem familiar to me, citizen. Have not I seen you anywhere? Uh, certainly not. I just have a common face. Here, I have an invitation. Alright, you may pass, citizen. Bye for now. Always keep away from trouble, citizen. I'm not thirsty. Hello, frog. Kiss me. I'm an enchanted text consultant. Are you looking for a golden ball? Kiss me. I'm an enchanted text consultant. Bye for now. Quack. 
Ah, it's you. Have you ever thought about selling your uncle's check? Mm, somehow I have not come to a decision yet. Is the union meeting here today? You are a bit early for the union meeting. Yes, uh, the carriage was amazingly fast. And I thought you came by boat. Yes, uh, that too. We had a lot of tailwind. And since when are you even in the Union of Magicians? Oh, just recently. I wanted to broaden my horizons. What exactly is actually being discussed at the Union meeting? Not very much. The exact content depends on how sober the members are. And why does that happen? I would like to learn much more about the art of sorcery. And what does it bring you? The world domination. Incidentally, one of my smaller goals. How is life in this castle? I still need a magic cauldron in the castle. You did not happen to see one, did you? Not really. Pity. See ya. Bye for now. So this must be the developer everybody is talking about. Who are you then? We are the priests of the developer. What is the developer? The developer. An infidel. Are you going to tell me who the developer is or do you have to ask someone else? All right. The developer is the creator of each of us. What? He created the whole world according to his conception. He also drew and animated you, son. I don't believe that. Infidel. You will be purified. What a crap. No, wait. That was a joke. Pooh, that was close. I almost was erased. What is this place? In our small sanctuary, we pay homage to the developer. He is the creator of all life in this game. Why are you standing around like this? I spread the developer's work by telling everyone about it. Not more? We are still looking for young ministrants, but unfortunately you are too old for that. Oh, what bad luck. But you are welcome to take a picture of the developer. Everyone should always carry the developer with them. Oh, thank you. I'll do that for sure. The developer is with you. A pile of images, each with a picture of the developer. It must be some kind of flyer. I'll take an image with me. It needs some cleaning very urgently. Good day. What should be good with that day? And why are you sitting here? I looked into the purse in an unfavorable moment. Why is that punishable? It was the Baron's purse. Makes sense. Also in my free time I fake gold coins. For this I always had a pot of gold paint at home, with which I painted the copper coins. How long do you have been sitting? Not a shimmer, but it has to be a long time. How come? I cannot remember my name anymore. Oh, that does not sound good. Can you not remember anything? I remember that my home is the old tower. At least something. Can you please water the flowers? Here's the key. You have flowers in your tower? Would be possible at least. But I cannot remember. Okay, if I see flowers that are not yet withered, I will water them. Thank you. I have to go again. Bye for now.
beauty lists are unsel. Please don't insert advertising. Not even for cosmetic hair care products. Locked. Unlocked. I don't need the key anymore. I'm not tired. A paint pot with golden color. I'm scared of heights. Illustrated book The Hundred Most Beautiful Wine Mills by Raphael Schenk. I didn't know that there's also a wine mill fetish. I have the book about the wine mills. Great, give it to me. Here you have a fish as a small thank you. Do I want to know why you take a dead fish to the bathroom? I don't think so. What can I say? People? I don't want to disturb him now. I do not know who to visit. What kind of diseases are treated here? The worst of all, leprosy, plague and man cold. What is the doctor doing there outside the clinic? He will teach you something. Today it's about maggot treatment and wound therapy. Are you alright? You look a bit dull. Unfortunately, I lost my golden apple. I'm very attached of this award, you know. What does a press spokesman do? Actually, I write press releases, but I run out of words. Can I help you with this somehow? I do not know if anyone can help me with that. Unfortunately, I have to leave very urgently. See ya. Now I have a golden apple, at least it looks like. Thank you. Now I can finally star my golden apple all day. Oh yes, I still have a piece of a ticket for an island tour. And for that I risked my life? Your life? This is not a Sierra adventure. There's a sign in the coffin. Our conform model. Feel free to try it out. So the undertaker has his clientele here as well. Wait, there's a shovel next to the coffin. I'll borrow it. That should work as glue. Ha! I created my own playing card. Well then, go thank you. Here I have received the legendary card from the blacksmith. Great! And even with an idol. Is there any money left? Uh, no. No matter. Now I have this wonderful card. Thank you. I have a coffee bean for you. A coffee bean? This is a very rare coffee bean that has only matured through the gut of a cat. Uh, I mean, uh, thank you. Do you want to have a fish? A fish? Come on, give it to me. Mm. Uh. Poo, 
I feel better now. You can have the bones back. Mm. Oh, thanks. Now I feel better. I knew that humans are good for something. Cook something, whatever. A book titled Alphabet Soups. Let insults appear on your counterpart's plate with these dishes. I'm looking forward to the recipe. I'll write that into the recipe book. A book entitled Necromancer and Other Spiritual Hobbies. A guide to contact deceased relatives, even if they don't want that at all. I'll write that into the recipe book. A book titled Revitalizing Hangover Soups. No living animals were harmed for the recipes in this book, at least not more than usual. I am relieved. I'll write that into the recipe book. For the hangover soup I need the hair of an untamed predator and a lot of egg yolks. Exactly in this order in the cauldron. That should be right. Perfect, the hangover soup is ready. I fill the hangover soup into one of the empty bottles that stand around here. For the alphabet soup, I need the organs of vision of a deceased person and a big dose of luck. Exactly in this order in the cauldron. That should be right. Perfect. The alphabet soup is ready. I fill the alphabet soup into one of the empty bottles standing around here. For the summoning, I need bones and caffeine. Exactly in this order in the cauldron. That should be right. Perfect. The summoning soup is ready. I fill the summoning soup into one of the empty bottles standing around here. Oh, thank you. Now I can finally write again. Here I have a part of a ticket. Great. Always be thankful. I'm going to try my best. Wait, that brings me to an idea. Now I have a complete ticket. I hope nobody notices the difference. Don't try at home, kids. Dodgy driving is expensive. And very bad. Here I have the hangover soup you talked about. Madness! I have to try this as soon as the guests are awake again. You can have some meat if you want. You should prepare yourself before drinking. Oh, uh, thank you. Here's Uncle Sid. Poor guy, in the truest sense. That could take a while now. Poo done, I'm not packing up any shovel in this game anymore. Now let's see if the necromancy works. It worked! Not seen for a long time, Sid. You didn't really summon me right now, did you? But... Really? Yeah... And I thought... I finally have my peace. Weren't you quite wealthy in life? Yeah, but I drank it all. It's better than leaving it to the stupid relatives. Were you actually liaise with the witch? Somehow. She's a really hot babe. Alright, I do not want to know any details right now. Whenever I saw her, I knew when I wanted to marry her. Oh really? And every time I heard her, I knew again why I did not marry her after all. 
You old romantic. Don't you want to live again? I could certainly wake you again. Why should you do that? After all, we are family. And further... And there's not much to inherit. I knew it. But you're right. That is not a solution either. In my coffin, you will find a book about the awakening of the dead. That should be useful. I have the book. Don't do nonsense. I have to do something. See you later. I'm hanging around here. Damn, they stole the cauldron. What the fried vulture did you do? Why is half the room so pixelated? <laughs> I brewed a retro soup with a cauldron. Cooked. Anyway, with the retro soup I have created a portal into another dimension. What kind of dimension? The 8-bit dimension. Great. And why the whole nonsense? No, I can bring the essence of 8-bit pixelation into our dimension and pixelate the whole world. <laughs> and why should the pixel in the world be good? Everything was better in the past. It was also much easier when the world was just a few pixels. But then the people still wanted more pixels and even higher resolution. And what is wrong with that? At some point we will surely be replaced by 3D figures by the developer. That cannot be. The developer would never do that. I cannot take the risk. I'll put the world back in the 8-bit time. The world will be at my feet. He's walking like a girl. I should urgently ask the witch and Uncle Sid for advice. <laughs> The Baron has opened the portal into the 8-bit dimension with a cauldron. Not again. Does he often do that? What can I do against it? You have to enter the dimension and mix two specific items there with the liquid. Why me? Uh, I'm just busy. Great. And what kind of object should that be? Unfortunately, I do not know exactly. Ask your uncle if you have already revived him. I'll go by the then. Do not let anyone stop you. But the Baron has opened the portal into the 8-bit dimension with a cauldron. I knew it. This shirt is not giving up. What can I do against it? You need wood and spice tofu. As far as I remember, you have to use the two in exactly that order. And how to apply? Well, unfortunately, I do not remember that anymore. It's getting better and better. I have to do something. See you later. I'm hanging around here. Can I book a tour with you? So I need a ticket. Where can I get it from? Are all tickets already sold out for today? Damn. I have a ticket and would like to go to the Cape of Tofu. The lever is stuck. The lever is stuck. The note says, Dear Baron, as requested we have introduced a combination lock. The two digit combination should not be crackable. Thus the cave is protected against unauthorized entry.
What did he die of? The letter says, I tried everything to decipher the difficult combination at the gate. Unfortunately, I would die with the certainty that I will not get closer to the tofu. Living as a vegan can be so cruel. My last words are therefore. Who reads that as stupid? Hmm, I should not just read letters from unknown skeletons. A sleeve of a shirt. Oops, I was pretty awkward with that. Now the sleeve is definitely dirty. That should loosen the lever. That should loosen the lever. Ah, tofu. No idea what to do with it. I have a ticket and would like to go to the island of the vegan zombies. A stack of flyers with info about the island of the vegan zombies and the tofu museum. Boring. Why do the voodoo dolls all look like me? Welcome to the island of vegan zombies. Why did you all become vegan? We've always been vegans. Nobody knew. When a deceitful journalist found out, unfortunately we had to come out. What is so bad about it? The image was down and we had to find new ways to make money. Vegan brains are not cheap. What can I look at in the museum? In our tofu museum we present different variations and flavors of tofu. Flavors? Exactly. Doesn't it start to rot after some time? That's why we only have pictures of the different flavors. Where's the meaning? You cannot recognize the taste of a picture. Every picture is named by its flavor. So, they are always the same pictures, only with different titles? Don't bother me, otherwise I will become a cunny four for a short time. You also make blue dolls? Oh yes, these two have recently been ordered by the Baron, but not yet picked up. Does he do that often? No, no, only if he wants to get rid of someone. This is a lucrative side job for us now and then. I can imagine that. I've gotta go then again. See you. They have actually managed to make vegan brains. A picture of tofu with cherry flavor. A picture of Tofu's raspberry taste. Such a crap. That's just a dummy. A bowl of Tofu Spice. Where this is exhibited here is beyond me. Now the Tofu should be flavorful. Oh dear, I'm entering the retro dimension. Oh man, that looks bad. Luckily I'm still in full HD. Hopefully it will stay like that.
And are you satisfied with this poor resolution? You get used to it. Was not even a frog here? In the full HD dimension one sat on the bench. I was hungry. Ooh. I had to eat something. And with his queer legs, he could not jump off so fast. I have to go. That's just pixel water in it. The wooden block mixes with the pixel water in the fontaine. I'm wondering if that was really such a good idea. Tofu should destroy everything. Nothing can do more damage. What did you do? I restore the balance. With tofu? Exactly. The portal into this world becomes unstable. Then we should better disappear soon from here. The portal collapses. Oops, he was not fast enough. Now we can stay in his beloved 8-bit dimension. Luckily I have the cauldron again. Now all I have to do is cook the resurrection soup. A book entitled In 7 Days to Necromancer by Neobeck. The most important steps to create your own zombie army. I write that into the recipe book. Now I can cook something, whatever. For the resurrection I need dead flesh and the dust of death. Exactly in this order in the cauldron. That should be right. Perfect, the resurrection soup is ready. I fill the resurrection soup in one of the empty bottles that stand around here. Now I'm curious. Finally, I live again. Thank you, Nelson. I did not think relatives could be of any use. Great, that was almost a compliment. I agree. And what now? Now I have to go to the witch. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh please, no details. Now that I'm alive again, it will probably be not good with the inheritance. But you can still live in my cabin if you want. Uh, I think that over. Oh crap, I'm sure I'll be unemployed soon. Not even the dead are not left under the ground anymore.